Всем... Hey there, fellows. So here's what I suggest we ponder and think about in today's episode. We're of course living in the 21st century, and the further we go, the more cars we're surrounded with. And emission standards are getting stricter. Euro 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and soon I'm sure we'll get to 27. Engines are gonna suck the filthy air from the atmosphere and send it through the exhaust pipe cleaner than it used to be. Anyway, so we got to thinking how we can do something like that right here in the garage. Put something together and see if it works. As for what exactly, I'm sure you all know what this is right here. Oh, an elephant mask. I mean a gas mask, of course. Attached to it, obviously. You've got that can. It cleans the air and makes it breathable. So the idea is to take a couple of those cans, fit them to the exhaust and see if they're up to the task. Can they purify the air, I mean the exhaust gases? Or can they not? That's on top of... I mean, we don't know, we might use a car that has a catalytic converter, or one that doesn't have one. We might even try both. We'll see how effective this turns out to be, and whether it even works in the first place. This should be rather interesting. Okay, so let's put together our system and see how well it does the job. Let's do this. Can a gas mask purify a car's exhaust gases? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, guys, check out what we've had to concoct here. We've made a box, which we've screwed these cans to. The gas mask cartridges. On this side, the gases go in. From the other side, they will come out. Now we just need to weld this shut and hook it up to an exhaust system. I have got really high hopes that this will give us very clean exhaust gases. So we've welded up this box for the gas mask filter elements which will hopefully clean up the exhaust gases. Make them nice and fresh. I mean the gases. Here we have a gas analyzer. It's some old and primitive one. I don't even know what the modern ones look like, honestly, since I've never even really seen them. I do know you gotta stick a probe into the tailpipe and check up on them. My guess is that it'll calibrate itself to the air inside the facility and show zeros across the board. Well, at least that's my understanding of how this works. It's gonna use the ambient air as a reference point. And we've got this car right here. The owner says that the engine has developed a few minor hiccups. Well, we're about to see just how minor or major they really are. See what's wrong with it. Now we just have to... Let me flip this on and fire up the car while we look on and see what sort of reading this gives us. Now we're all gonna suffocate. Right, let's have a look at the numbers. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I'm not sure what it's supposed to read, but I don't think it'll pass inspection. But I honestly don't know what it's supposed to say. We just need a baseline reading, for later reference. Or maybe everything is alright? It's hard to tell. 
It is really stinging my eyes though. Okay, so CO is at 10.3. I mean to say CO2. CO is at 0.34. While CH, oh, that is a frightening number. Okay, so as not to memorize these numbers, I'll go ahead and take a photograph. And after we hook up the filter, we can compare the before and after. All right, we're looking good. You may start the car now. Okay, are we in for a surprise? Wait, is there even a smell? That's how exhaust gases should smell. They shouldn't. So here's what's up, guys. The CO figure is up for some reason. So is the CO2. As for the CH value, which is... What do you call it? It's unburned fuel, right? Remnants of unburned fuel. That figure has plummeted. It used to be 100. Now it's at 28. It used to be as low as 22. It appears that the filters are beginning to... Not necessarily clog up, but I mean... They have their service life. And apparently they are starting to... Absorb the gases, and the further we go, the less effective they become. Yeah, this is quite curious. So after disconnecting the thing, I literally can't even stand next to it. The ventilation is pulling the air that way. 160, one... Oh my. Look at the values increasing. Why'd the CH go up so high? It is climbing dramatically. Oh wait, it stopped. 3,000 RPM? Let's keep them at two. We don't want to die in here. Okay, let's see what happens when we rev the engine. Without the filter. It's about the same as it was before. The CH rating dropped to about 106, 105. You get it? We've got a clean burn. Maybe the catalytic converter is warm. Does it even have one? From how the gases sting my eyes, I take it it doesn't. Oh my, look at that. 1800, 2000. That's from when I gave it some throttle. Oh yeah, you actually might be right. You want to repeat it with them? Yeah, let's hook the filter up and do the same. <laughs> it's slowly getting there. Could be. No, it's climbing quite dramatically. 700. Now we're all right. And now it's coming down. Apparently, these filters are only blocking... I mean, it's obviously not converting CO and CO2 to oxygen. But it is getting the unburned fuel. And now for comparison, we've brought... a car in from outside, which is all frozen. Now let's see what happens here. It is relatively new, so that's a good thing. We're just curious to see. Take a look at that. These figures are at zero. As in there are no unburned remnants of fuel in the exhaust gases. Which is good, the catalytic converters are doing their job. 
And the engine is in good condition. Very nice. I guess it doesn't even need this. Okay, so where do these results leave us then? Well, this filter box containing gas mask cartridges is only good for getting rid of one thing, which is CH, or unburned fuel. Now, it doesn't clean it up entirely, but you would have seen that when we took a reading without the box, when Cyril was giving it some gas, it would go all the way up to 2000. But with the filter box hooked up, it wouldn't go any higher than about 600. Now, mind you, these cars are far from being the same age. This one is older, this one is fresh, and this one doesn't seem to be in a proper state of tune. It definitely needs some repairs, because you really shouldn't be emitting so much smoke. So the filter box did give us some positive results, but as you'd imagine, carbon monoxide and dioxide aren't filtered out by those gas mask filters. Anyway, overall this experiment has been a tremendous success. We at least caught the unburned fuel with these filters. What are you running, by the way, Euro minus zero? This would have made it into Euro zero. <laughs> Two, three, four doesn't make a difference. You need to fit enough of them to bring the CH down to zero. Some people are keeping the air clean, as you can see. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.